I'm going to show you how I recreated the Nang's synthesizer sounds by Tame Paula. If you saw my last video, I basically did a cover version and I thought it was pretty accurate and a lot of people thought so as well. So I figured I'd give you a quick little tutorial on how to achieve those synthesizer sounds basically using any software plugin that you have. You can achieve this. So step one, let's dive right in. Literally just pull up any two oscillator synth plugin that you have. I'm using Elements by Waves. Not ideal, it's not fancy like Serum, but whatever, gets the job done. It's all the same shit as long as you know how to use it. So first thing we're gonna do is set both oscillators so that they're equally heard, 50% on one side, 50% on the other side. Make sure they're both set to saw wave. We're gonna make one of them an octave higher, all right? Cool. Next, we're going to put one up by three cents and the other one down by three cents. This is gonna give a little bit of width to it. We're also gonna raise up some of the chorus. All right, check this out. So those few steps literally got us that far. Okay, bring up some of the reverb just a little bit and we're gonna bring the cutoff down quite a bit. I'm bringing it down to like 30% over here. Bring up some of the resonance and let's see where we're at right now. So we haven't done much, we haven't done much, but we're here so far. So now the main juice of this is getting that pulsating effect. So how do we do that? Well, we got LFOs, we're gonna use LFO to create movement. So let's go to LFO one. Let's assign that to filter envelope cutoff. Okay, now remember, my parameters are slightly different than yours if you're not using the same thing, but you can apply exactly what I'm doing to whatever plugin you have as long as you have the basic options to do this. So make sure you assign your LFO to filter cutoff and we're gonna set it to a 16th note pattern. Make sure the tempo of your project is an 85 BPM. Okay, now check this out. Watch what happens when we raise our LFO up. And there you have it. That's the main synthesizer sound. Cool, cool. After that, I just did a multiband compressor, raised up some of the bass, added stereo imaging to make it super wide, and that's that. So now we're gonna go on to our lead synthesizer sound, which comes in about halfway through the song. The little that weird part, all right? Let's check out how we can get that. So here, let me go back to default. This is gonna be a similar deal. We're going to start off the same way we did last time. Bring your oscillators to 50-50, two oscillators. Bring one down by three cents. Bring the other one up by three cents. It creates some width. Okay, bring up some of the chorus, some reverb. Bring down the cutoff again to a very similar point as last time. This is basically the same sound, except it's a lead. Okay, make sure you're in mono. Okay, because we're just playing single notes. Bring the resonance up a little bit. So this guy now sounds like this. So you saw how easy that was. You might have to rewatch this a few times because I kind of just flew right through. But one last step we're going to do is we're going to use an LFO for global pitch to give movement to the pitch, but it's going to be so subtle. So we're going to use LFO 2 over here, set to a quarter note pattern, and we're going to just literally bring this up like 1%. And now you hear it pulsating and doing that up and down thing. So after that, we're literally going to duplicate this because on the other side, halfway through the song, we hear the higher octave doing the same exact thing. So we're literally going to copy and paste what we just did with our lead. We're going to raise that up an octave and it's going to sound something like this. So we got one side is low, the other side is high, and we have the main pulsing synth. Of course, that eventually drops out of the pulse once the drums kick in and it starts to sound more kind of like this. So the overall context would sound something like this.
And there you have it, guys. That's Nangs. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was simple. I hope it was easy to follow. If you enjoyed it, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, leave a comment, let me know what you want to see next time. I'll try to provide it to you. Hope you guys enjoy. Much love. Peace out.